What's going on guys? Welcome to a Modern Masters Draft here on Yu-Gi-Oh!.com. I am your host, the internet, and welcome to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Frank, did you see Pro Tour Chain Whirler? I totally saw Chain Pro Tour Chain Whirler, and uh, yeah, there are four good white cards in this pack, like four, four top tier white cards. Maybe we take the Traxos and steer clear of the white. I'm going to do that. I mean... To be honest, like, I don't know what else I could expect to open uh, other than a four-mana colorless card. I think that's pretty much where you want to be in this format, right? Just open all the cool colorless cards, the four-mana colorless cards. And see, like, here's a Song of Fraley's for a second pick. Um, which lets you know that uh, since all three uncommons are in the pack, that our opponent took a Karn or uh, a Teferi. So, you know, not us, I say. <laughs> I'll take the Song of Fraley's. That's pretty good. I'll build around that bad boy. All right, let me see if I can upload this now. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch my. Uh, I'm gonna watch very closely. Oh god. Oh god, the frames there dropping. It's not looking good, guys. Yep, all right. Cancel the upload. Not going to work out. Oh, well. Oh, so in case you guys didn't get the... if In case you guys didn't get the what Finkel was saying, the reason he despised white so heavily was because everyone else was going to draft it because it actually is the best color in this format. Um, so Finkel steered clear of white because everyone else is going to be fighting over it. So if he's not fighting over white, he's going to end up with a better deck than than if he were just fighting over white. So. Um, is it it's either Grand Lord Alorada or Saprling Migration. This does trigger our Traxos. Calling someone the king of hyperbole. Using hyperbole to accentuate how much hyperbole someone uses is that's an interesting that's an interesting technique. This also puts us into red, which I'm not thrilled about. I think I'm just gonna take the migration. Yeah, I, I didn't I say that? I said it triggers Traxos. I did mention that. I don't know if I care about that though. Well that that auto picked for us, but that's still what I wanted. We could take a Baird here. Which triggers the Traxos again, but again, it puts us into white. Like, there's no reason to go into white when we have Mammoth Spider here, so. Yeah, I'm just going to take Spider. Spider Spider's great. Oh, another Spider. We can also take this short, short side. I got a little short side. Um... I also like Caligo Skin Witch and Mammoth Spider, but I don't really think the Skin Witch is great. Is there a delay? Are you guys experiencing a delay of some sort? I think Spider is very good. But I really don't feel like having a bunch of cards uh, that don't trigger our Traxos. It might just be Sword here. I'll take the Sword. Our first pick was a Traxos. Wow, two compasses in the same pack. Two compasses, one pack. Are you at a point where you're favoring nonsense over winning? I mean, I feel like my entire magic career is favoring nonsense over winning, but... Um... <sighs> Nonetheless, I don't think any of our picks are nonsense picks yet, so... I think it's just Blood Tallow Candle because it untaps this guy. It's also a removal. Yeah, that's fine. I don't feel like being a different color yet, but now we might have to just pick a different color. I, just, I like Wizards. I like Wizards Retort better than Cinco Paint. None of these red cards are good. I'll just take the Cinco Paint because I like Blue Green as a deck, and it's probably better than Wizards Lightning when we might not even have that many. Um, 
Well, this basically kills anything with the Traxos. We can also just take Dalit Omnivore because that's a good black card. However, both of these keep us in green. Yeah, I'll take Animus here. Eh, Deep Freeze is rewarding. That is a rewarding card. Soul Salvage, also pretty good with a Traxos and a Mammoth. Stay on color. I'll, I'll, I'll stay the course. I'm just going to cut all this green unwind for the sideboard. Slinvada, if we can ramp to this with the Song of Frailies, that's gas. All right, not terrible. Yeah, anytime you have the Traxos, um, the one three is always welcome. You're always like, all right, cool. Guy goes up in value exponentially once you have Traxos. Verdant Force. All right. Well, that's not money, but that's probably the closest thing we're going to get to uh, to bombs, right? Traxos, the old Traxos Verdant Force deck. I hope this sap herd comes back, but I'm not cross my fingers. I will also take uh, Joy Smiller. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna take Verdant Force here. This is a pretty easy pick. We're not we're not married to blue at this point, but it's pretty good. Mm, blink of an eye. Probably better than Grow here, especially in the green deck where you're like, hey, or actually, Skittering Surveyor seems pretty legit. So I just a red black deck just to be on theme for today. Oy vey. I think it's actually Surveyor here because of our lack of commitment to blue. And that guy's very good. Divination. Another, scur another Surveyor. Uh, servant's good, but I'm not going to take a Servant third pick when there's a Surveyor. Uh, servant and Surveyor. That's a lot of serves. Yeah, I'm just going to take double Surveyor. They also trigger Traxos, which is definitely not non-zero. Now I have Miles Davis stuck in my head, which is good. That's a good thing. Wild Onslaught. Was that fourth pick? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, this would be the... Yeah, that's pretty good. Thorn Elemental. And another Skittering Surveyor? Surveyor? Surveyor, Surveyor? Why did he say it twice? I don't know. I want to take this guy. This deck is looking great. Another Garna. I love the Crossan Druid and like the Rampy type deck because you basically always just cast it for th for for eight. Frank, is time to change the homunculus to the Battle Bond one? Oh, maybe. If I can find a Battle Bond homunculus, I think I would just take this Shivan Fire and play it. Hungry Howie Bot, top cheers for the top crust. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. All right, we're gonna take this Shivan Fire. You'll get caught up in the Shivan Fire. Arcanist? That's poop. Radiant Lightning? That's okay. Slinvada number two? That's not reasonable. I think we're just taking Radiant Lightning. Again, if we're willing to splash the, the Shivan Fire, we can easily bring this in if we have to. I think my mouse just died, so that's an awkward... Not for good. It would just need to be charged, but... Corrosive Ooze is fine. I like Fungal Infection, and I like Soul Salvage, but... Um, this is actually just a playable two-drop. I'm not opposed to that. I'm going to take Unwind. So far we have one, two, three, four, five, at least five playable cards to untap Traxos. I don't think we need to be having a Navigator's Compass. Ooh, Arcane Flight. Arcane Flight and like Verdant Force of Thorn. House of Shadow with the sub. Thank you so much, David. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Are you guys ready for the Karn in pack three? 
I've been ready my entire life, I think, but, you know, Magic is like, sorry, buddy, not until your 70th draft. So that's cool. Oh, it's second squee in the same draft. I'm happy about that. Dear God. I really feel like uh, at a certain point, I'm probably just going to lose my mind, right? Like, it just doesn't seem natural that there's this few... Uh, I think it's actually probably just migration here. Yeah, there's like, I mean, it's either bail off or migration. I think migration is just better when we have, we have go wide attitude. Ooh, this is splashable. Do we just play the, uh, the one swamp in the deck? I mean, we could also take Shiv and Fire and then play the one mountain and play double Shiv and Fire, which is actually pretty good. We already have a Thorn Elements and a Verdant Force. I really don't think we need a third 7-plus mana creature. We also have Slin Vada if we're playing that, but... Tetsuko could be good at double migration, but... Um, I really don't want them to be 1-1s one for that long with Wild Onslaught and Song. How are you ranking this format so far? Very highly. I think it's very fun. Uh, I'm going to take the Shivan Fire because I think it's just better in this deck, specifically. Uh, Land of War Elf seems great here. I would like to take a Pierce the Sky for the sideboard, but I would also rather just have my ramp go. I have my ramp go. Cemetery's cute. Journey Mage is very, very good. Yeah, Tetsuka synergizes. You're correct. But like I just literally said, hopefully they're not one ones for too long with Song of Frellies and Wild Onslaught. Ancient Animus is the other option, but we only have 11 creatures plus 2 saps, so that's only 13. We may not play Slinvada. Oh, Karn's Temporal Sundering. How many legendaries do we have? Traxos and Slinvada. Dang it. That does not seem like enough, but I also don't think there's anything else in this pack that's really playable, so... I mean, if that Tetsuko comes back, which I doubt, I'm not going to play Diligent Excavator, I'm not going to play a second gift, and I'm not going to play Gaia's Protector, so... Might as well just take the Temporal Sundering and see what happens. Fungal plots. I also like Broken Bomb. Fungal plots is main deckable here. So you're going to be a six drop. So you're going to go here, you're going to go here, you're going to go X. Probably going to cut you, unfortunately. But yeah, we're going to fungal. We'll be f we'll fungal plots. Glider's fine. Academy Drake. Okay. Wow, that is a that is a mosquito, and that is huge. I don't know if you guys can even see that. It was probably big enough that it, you could see it. I found it earlier. It floated across the screen, and I was like, oh my god, that thing is humongous. I always have these flying creatures in this room. I don't understand it. Voltaic Servant. Um, good with Traxos. Academy Drake might be better. I think the, I think the Servant's actually better here. I like a Soul Salvage. Uh, Servant probably won't table because it would literally have to be the last card in the pack. So I would say nay. Nay on the tabling. Cinco Pato. It's either second Cinco Pato or second Crosan Drake. We have 12 creatures. I'll just take the second Cinco Pay. Ooh, second Mammoth Spider is actually pretty good. Wow, that is a late, that is an unreasonably late Adelise that I will just take for the heck of it. All right, so we have to make two cuts here. Deck seems great. Llanowar Envoy kind of sucks. I, 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 we can also play one red for the two Shivan Fires. It's pretty good. I 
I like the second druid too. I like having the option to play one early and still knowing I have 10 extra life in my deck somewhere. I think we actually take Arcane Flight out, but then again, we have like Verdant Force and Thorn Elemental to put it on, which is pretty sweet. We also put it on Traxos, and that's a big, that's a big dude. I don't know if we need Gift of Growth and Wild Onslaught and Song of Frailies. I can, I can feel free cutting the gift. I would really like to add both of these. Green white splashing for a double double blue card. Oof. Congrats on winning the draft though. That's pretty sweet. It's so easy to just splash these off of three uh three red sources, but I don't think we need to. Like this is the deck, right? And we can bring them in if we really, really have to. I think we can actually cut one surveyor for the ace Stair glider if we're not gonna actually splash, but these are always draw you cards and they trigger track, so so does this, but so that's kind of a wash. We also only have 12 creatures, so maybe we just take out a Fungal Plots? Compass does work for Tracks and Fire, but we have no reason to add a Compass to this deck. Like, I don't... Unless I have, like, super powerful cards that I'm splashing for, Compass doesn't, like... I would rather... I'd have to cut a... Sh like, we were, this is one card we're going to add. I would just rather one of the cards be a Shiv and Fire. Because we already have source way to get red sources. Like, we have double double these guys. We have Song of Frailies. And we have uh, the island... The mountain itself. You know. So. I only have one legendary creature, right? Yeah. No Karn's Temporal Sundering for us. I really like Soul Salvage, too. Like, a lot more. Because there's a lot of creatures that are just very, very good. Like, Crossandroid or Mammoth Spider or Traxos. Like, there's a lot of, of, of utility creatures that you can get back. I think Compass is fine. Like, I think there are definitely decks where Compass is a necessary evil. And you can play, like, four and five color decks thanks to Compass. Um, which I think is totally fine. I don't know if I like Ancient Animus. Like, outside of these two guys. I guess it's good with these guys as well. I think our deck looks good like this. There's nothing I really care about having except for the two Shivan Fires, but I also don't think we need them right now. I also kind of like a glider with uh, both Song of Frailies and Wild Onslaught. I want to actually put in one glider, and if we ever board in the Shivan Fires, we can bring in the other Skirp Surveyor. Mm, definitely not. Seven ten actually seems fine. We only have four. One two three. Four. We only have four blue cards. Actually, that's interesting. Did you just cut the four blue cards. No, because Journey Mage is really good. Do final plops, plops. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Even if, yeah, even with Fungal Plots, even if you don't have uh, that many creatures in your own graveyard, it's still nice because we have Sapperling Migration to draw cards with, so. This deck looks okay. I don't mind this deck. Oh, you said plops earlier? That's pretty funny. Uh, Goblin Chain Roller was in 7 out of 10. 7 out of 8. Uh, top 8 decks. So, 28 copies of Chain Roller in the top, top 8. Uh, we'll play first. Wow. And before double island opener. No, three islands and one forest. I don't like this hand. Sure. This is keepable. Marginally keepable. It's not great.
Look at that little one one. Is this a is this a centaur wizard? No, of course not. They never are. I don't think I have any wizards. Because I don't. Can I appreciate the deep luscious green on that forest for a sec? <laughs> yeah, we definitely can. I left your stream on in the background all I wasn't I wasn't streaming Friday. So I don't know who you left I don't know who you were leaving on. Oh, here he goes again. You hear it? I think he's good. Oh, that's a good card, but not yet. I have no desire to make uh, a bunch of two one ones. A bunch of two one ones over here. If we draw land, land, it's good because then we get a, this guy into this guy. God, maybe that was the mosquito. Oh, you left it on in the background all day Friday waiting for me. Okay, well, that is different. That is different. Okay, thank God he's not an artifact, because otherwise you can just Arkish Vandal me to death. That would be a heck of a combo. Song of Fraley's. Glider? You sack this guy to kill the glider? That could be good. You need to take him to a doctor? Well, he's an adult. I don't have to... I mean, he's about, he's about 30, so I don't really have to... I imagine it's not my responsibility. Thank you. Cyberdrack, thank you so much for the sub. We really appreciate it. Oh. Wow. Cool. I'm having a good time. That's vomit inducing. Guess we lost. Can't beat the old black blade squee when they always have even if you can get rid of this guy, it's uh they never don't have an enchantment or a legendary guy. Oh man, that that moment where Marshall called me out for drinking water, dude. That was un I was like I was I was so taken aback. I was like, "Oh my god, dude." Hey, look, it's a little guy again. It doesn't get trampled, I guess, so that's good for this migration when it happens. The blade gives plus one, plus one for every land they control. So, you know, plus, casual plus six, plus six on your squee. Like you do. Yeah, I was like, gets you going, everyone. I don't even know what that means. Song of Fraley's Like you do. Gonna kill my guy in response. That's cool. You're a cool dude. But not that cool of a dude. Oh boy, I'm having a good time. Thanks for killing all my things in response. Now I have four mana. Is it worth, like, gaining life here? Not gaining life, rather. Is it worth, like, just playing this in one, two, three, four, five, six? Whatever. So next time we can migration at least. I always wondered how the song of Fraley's went. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. Well, I'll just take eight and go to five, I guess. Which is actually a virtual three, thanks to your orcish vandal. Which is just doo doo brown, really. That guy's just terrible. 
All right, well, we're doing good. Kick it! Burn, 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 burn. We should have attacked first and then they don't know what they're doing. But what are you going to do? They go to 12. I'll chump block. Unless they play Radiant Lightning main deck and then they just kill us. Or they have Run Amok in their hand. Also an option. Let's get a Muck Don, I guess. Oh, they can get a Muck Don. No Muck Don here. Soothsayer. Sure, don't soothsay me, bro. If we had Spore Swarm in our deck, that'd be a sweet draw. Instead, we have Island. Which lets us cast this, I guess. You're going to sack your Black Blade to kill one of these guys? Is that what you're going to do? I have another Vicious Offering. Sure, buddy. Sure, buddy. That's actually fine, because now they can't draw a card from uh, from this. If they block here, they take six and go to six. That's pretty good. Sweet Doo Doo Brown featuring Orcus Randall on the drums. Like you do. So they can play Squee here and equip, but I mean. Oh, gain gain you'll gain seven. A classic. One good one good rare deserves three others, I guess. So that you can do a thing with your thing. Also legendary, so worth noting they can just equip the Black Blade. They're at 10. Our guys no longer have Vigilance. Oh, it's the most amazing draw you could have ever had. That's phenomenal. You had exactly enough lands. I don't even understand it. Look like at Ancient Animus here. They might respond by killing this, but boy, do I have my doubts about that. They block here. They take six. What does killing the 1-1 one, one do? It doesn't really do much. I mean, the good thing about Candle is that it also triggers a bunch of other cards in the format. It, 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 counter, it triggers everything that has Historic. Which is very, very nice. Like, I'm at 5. Why does this need to be a 15, 14? <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. Well, you know, in case you can gain 2 life. Doesn't have Trample, right? No, it's just a big dumb idiot. Lamagoyf, congrats on the new house. I'm glad you invited me in. Put that dude in the trash can. Nobody wants that guy. Sometimes you just want to vomit because they have infinite legendary guys. Can you tell my Teshar isn't? Can you tell my Teshar isn't being played? We literally have grids. I don't. Can you tell? I I don't understand your question. You're missing words in your in your sentence. Sure. Literally the second visitor after my real life in person best friend. Sweet. Cool. You got it. They could have also done that anyway without this guy. So. 
All right, we're going to bring in Broken Bond. No, JK, we don't have that. I will bring in an Unwind, I guess. I don't know, man. They have Double Vicious Offering at the very least. God, there's no way to exile Squee. Seriously? Whatever. Why don't you play against the opponent that has 14 Mythics in his deck? Alright, well, to be fair, none of them were Mythics, I think. I guess Squee wouldn't guess exiling Squee wouldn't do anything. That's fair. Oh god. That card is good. Good lord. I actually forgot that. I was like, I mean I wouldn't have I probably would have remembered by the time it was relevant, but I really want to play you after this guy, so. I actually have to assume that they have um Traxos in their deck as well because of this guy. So that's um, I guess. Yes, yeah, we can be cast from exile. We were, we just covered this. Show me that smile again. Show me that smile. Oh yeah. What's your black-red deck going to do against this guy? Probably nothing, right? <laughs> Amateur hour. Oh, land eviscerate? Oh, no land. Okay, well, I guess this is how we beat the monomythics.deck over here. Boom, 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 boom. So, we'll get an extra green. We already have infinite islands, so I don't care if they know I have that. This is just a play, right? I attack for 10, and it's a two-turn clock. No blocks for them. They're going to just block here. 7 is totally different than 10 in this situation, so. Oh, they're going to pay the cost. Oh, you're going to Vicious Offering my Crossand Druid. Oh. That's even better. I'm a fan of that. So you take five instead. Yeah, deep freeze works, I guess. That's a good answer for Squee. If that's what we're talking about. Looks like it was. Oh, Cabal Paladin. Do, do, do. Do, 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 So this is 10. Yeah, you, you're not you're gonna block here, so you're gonna take 10. That's fine. Totally fine. Oh, that guy's not gonna do it. Fingers crossed, I don't have another historic spell. Well, that's not going to do it. I mean, this is a fine trade if they want to make it. Pay costs. Seems good. Wow. I guess it doesn't matter. That's fair. I think we're running out of historic spells, boys. And girls, ladies and gentlemen. Children of all ages. It's not looking good. 
But it's not looking terrible either, I guess. I don't know, we're at 20. Man, comparing comparing me to the day nine of that day, calling me the day nine of, of magic is pretty sweet. That is a heck of a compliment right there, my friend. Sure. They go to one here. Intriguing. Most intriguing. Wow, I'm happy I just pushed my first Snapcaster Mages ever. That's pretty awesome, dude. Congrats. Hard. <laughs> so because Hunter deck is a great example of a broken game. I mean, okay. I mean, like that. I think it's like saying, wow, seven out of eight red decks in the top eight are basically you know, the example of a broken game. I mean, Hearthstone's really not broken. <laughs> it's actually completely fine. I mean, also like they're they're well known for for adjusting things on the fly when when they when they're needed. All right, well, this, this is the thing, I guess. I mean, it's weird that people are like, "Oh man, Hearthstone's broken." Meanwhile, the Pro Tour was literally seven out of eight of the same same decks. <laughs> I mean. Eh. Games are hard to it's 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 balance, balancing games like like this is hard. It's not easy to do. Ah, oh, Mishra's self replicator. Okay. I'll block. Deep freeze. Before this thing gets out of hand, I guess. Mm, four, five, six, seven. There's, I, I can see no reason to attack here. Well, they're at one, you see. It's an entire draft of that. Oh, good lord. That sounds really tilting, actually. That, that description does not sound pleasant. Um, I mean, Magic literally just had a format where Aetherworks Marvel was literally banned. So, I mean, I guess Magic, Magic, the entirety of Magic in general is also a broken game. You know, like it's, it's not, I don't have a problem with saying, I think the meta is a little skewed right now and some cards need to be adjusted. That's a reasonable thing to say. Saying the game, the whole Hearthstone game is broken. That's just a ridiculous hyperbolic thing to say when magic has definitely had similar problems. It's just not realistic. Um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. They have six blockers. I guess we can just keep waiting. Although they can just like, they can't do anything, I guess. They could attack us with Squee and then just keep replaying it for two damage a turn, but I'm pretty sure Wild Onslaught just finishes this at some point. They're also 100% on borrowed time because of this guy, so. Can't be mad about magic if you almost never play it. <laughs> oh, that thinking meme is gas. Yeah, it's if you're gonna if you want to play a card game that doesn't have any exploits whatsoever, if it doesn't have any way to, uh, if they're if you're not doing broken things in a card game, like you're probably playing a pretty plain card game. Like that's the thing. Like you you're gonna take risks when you're designing cards. Like you're gonna take risks. I 
What do they have? Three, four, five, six blockers. We have one, two, three, four, five, six guys. Graver, I, I get what you're saying. I totally understand. But, like, the problem is, like, meta's shift, right? Like, if the format's broken and there's, like, interactions that are unbeatable, they'll change it. They'll either nerf cards or you just have to wait. And they'll, they'll rotate eventually. But, like, it's not indicative of the entire game being broken. Like, like I said, it's just a problem with, it's just a problem with, uh, what do you call it? One, two, three, four. I think we, like, they just don't have good blocks here, right? If we wild onslaught. This guy goes here. I think we're just fine. We can wait another turn. Every other turn gives us two more guys to, <laughs> let's play that. Oh, it seems good. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Everybody in the red zone. So you're just taking one here, and that's fine. You're gonna you gain life from anything. You're probably gonna sack this and hit this guy, and that's fine, okay. Negative four Traxos get wrecked. You cheaty McCheaterson. They didn't cheat. That was that was inappropriate of me to assume. I feel like we can take Ooze out. Oh, actually Ooze is great against the sword. Oh boy, that's good. I just want to be oozing all over. What does that mean? What a weird thing to say. Broken Bond would be so good, especially when we saw Mishra's self replicator. Um, I'm going to keep this hand reluctantly because of this syncopate. And on the draw, I'm going to assume we can hit some things that are good for us. No black blade. No black blade. Okay, that's not a black blade. I don't care about that. They actually might just be playing that guy because of orcish veteran synergies. So that's cool. Oh yeah, definitely keeping up the car, the the no car and Lyra Teferi streak. Uh, I would have it no other way. I, I don't want to open any money in this set. Please don't. If Wizards is listening, please never put anything of value in my packs. You're doing a great job of it so far, and I just like the trend to continue. Can I just counter this dude? No, there's too many good things. I don't care about that. This is fine. I'll take three, I guess. I don't, don't care about any of these things. These are just really... This is, an, this is an amazing board. Most valuable card in the set is Karn. Not close. Sure. I've drafted 10 times, went 200 almost all of them, no value from drafts, no prizes besides one history of Benalia. I've drafted 50 times. I have no value except for one history of Benalia, so I guess we're even. Vicious hunger, this guy? Sapperling, my sure. Do 
Well, to be fair, I haven't actually spent any tickets uh, other than, like, entry fees here, so... They have two cards. It's pretty good, I guess. Yeah, Chain Roller's not broken. Chain Roller's not a bannable card, unfortunately. I think if anything, you're up on time. Time is time is the asset that you have that I do not. That's cool, because next time they get to play the glider that I just bounced and Misha's self-replicator it. That's pretty cool. That that won't be broken in any way, shape, or form, I'm sure. Yeah, this game's pretty much over. Oh, you have double. That's cool. I see. They didn't? They declined to replicate? I'm confused. What on the earth? We know one of their two cards. Dream Tide, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do. Chain Roller's not the problem in the deck. Um, it was the fact that, like... Rampaging Frosted on attacked you on multiple axes. It had Menace, so it was it was a nightmare for control decks. It forced them to play two creatures. Uh, it prevented any life gain, so even a deck like Approach couldn't survive in the format. So a viable control deck, one of the one of the top. Um, where are you for the top eight of the PT? I was uh, in my house actually. Um, it made it so one of the most viable control decks in the format, which was. Um, Approach of the Second Sun couldn't gain life. So you actually, it prevented you from getting back into the game. Uh, the, no the, the no life gain thing was relevant because one of the top control decks was Approach of the Second Sun. Um, and there's also just incremental life gain on several several cards. So, you know, I mean, it's... it's It was just a more oppressive card than, than Chain Whirler, which doesn't... It's just a 3-3 three, three on its face. Like, if you just play it, it's never going to actually deal you more than three other than if it crews... Um, Heart of Kieran. It's also a lot harder to cast. Triple Red is a lot harder to cast than Red 1-1. One, one, so. I really don't know what to do here. I think it's just Fungal Plots. We can eat two things, which is fine. is going on here that's a tiny little spider that's real sad all right replicate i have no idea why they didn't replicate this guy last turn what is happening right now We'll do this.
Oh, baby. That's where you want to be. Would give me entry in any Pro Tour of the Choosing, but I already, that's the one I played, the, I already played in one. I literally postponed my uh, Grand Prix Top 8 Orlando Pro Tour, and that's the one I Top 8 I literally Top 8 the both the Gatewatch Pro Tour. That's how I got in there. And we're not out of this game by any means. What would my other one be for? Why what would I have one owed to me? The one I gave up was from the Pro Tour. There's something going on in this house, man. I am not okay with it. A little spider was just coming down from the ceiling like the tiniest spider ever. And uh I just saw a second one run off this coaster, and now I'm just like, now I'm freaking out. I'm not okay with anything that's happening right now. You guys are just literally experiencing me in... You didn't get one for getting top... Yeah, I did, and I went to two others. And I didn't do that well. The worst thing is I don't know where he went. He just ran. And I'm just hoping it's not a trend. My god. They have one card. I guess we're like fingers crossed. All right, pass here. I mean, we're missing two lands. If we get actually song next turn, would be utterly insane. I would be a fan of song next turn. That'd be gas. You have a spider infestation. Have you seen arachnophobia? It's like that in your house. Oh, well, that's too bad. I am not a fan of that. Oh boy, boy, oh boy. <clears throat> All right, now we literally have to draw. I think Song is like our one out here because... <laughs> oh, boy. Sometimes you just get her done. So one... Two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. Universe is a simulation for show. The world is a simulation. I'm just going to assume you don't have... Actually, is this bad for us? We're at 12. I guess they can go attack, attack. We can block here pretty easily. Block... I don't really want to chump with this. Like, this guy needs to be chumped. Is the problem. So we can take... We have three blockers. Block. Chump. Block. And then we... Uh, uh, two. So we take... One. Two, three, four, five. Block. Six. Seven, eight. We go to four. That's pretty bad. I think it has to be done, unfortunately. Day of Judgment would have been better. Unfortunately, we got to play with the cards we have in our deck. Alright. I don't think they have anything. I think their hand is just nothingness. This is a good this is a good attack. Nope. 
Just put them all in the red zone. What could possibly go wrong? Just those guys, huh? Well, 100% blocking you, and I'll block you. I feel like if their last card was Vicious Torment, they would literally kill this guy. Vicious Offering, they'd kill this guy, and then attack with the gliders. That was... That was a pretty good turn. I feel like this turn's also going to be pretty reasonable. Um, yeah, feeling good about this turn. I think we just I think we just recovered. Wow, this was this this was insane. We can also counter something. We have one. We have a bunch of counters. The world is a fungal plot. Also, we have fungal plots, so we can actually draw cards and gain life if we need to. Oh, man. Fungal plots and Verdant Force combo? That's insane. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think, our, I think we just... Wow. 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 What is even happening right now? Might as well equip. Is this lethal? This feels like lethal. Wow! What? It, how did we win this game? He said preemptively before they win the game. Oh my god, we have the hit song here, and then it's Song of the Dryads. Unbelievable. Guys, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that there's no spider infestation in my house. Can you guys do the same? I'd appreciate it. Uh, Fre Song of Freddy's is not seeing any standard play. So it's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That is lethal, but I guess you have a sapperling to gain life. So. Reasonably. Are we... What? Wait, what just happened? They added three? They added three and didn't do anything? I want a good game to you. That was very strange. They could have gained two. They could have gained two from the sappy boy. Sappy boy, sappy boy. No, oh, I never need you. To say, baby, I love you. Sappy boy, sappy boy. Wow. That game was something this hand is bad but it has song and deep freeze i'm trying to find that spider that just ran i don't know where he went i don't know if i was like seeing things or maybe i'm just going crazy guys it's either mental insanity or spider infestation i'm not even gonna not even i'm not even sure Did they sack? Because they still had three mana in the pool. So, I, I didn't... I didn't see that. I have had to see someone spell Fraley's correctly, so... I guess we mulligan this hand. Oh boy, it doesn't do anything. This is a better hand. I want to put you on the bottom because I need lands. Plus we have Voltaic Servant. Oh, the old Frey Hollies. That's a good one. That's a classic. A forest? You're not a forest. You're unbelievable. Forest! What? That's literally not... That's a green card. I apologize if you're confused. Do you wife of vampires is still a reasonable deck in standard? I have no idea. Probably not because of Chain Whirler. <laughs> I mean, you have to get literally... Uh, a bunch of 2-2s, which makes Martyr of Dusk worse. It makes Legion's Landing worse. 
Okay, well, now we don't have a game anymore. That's unfortunate. We had a good game, and then we didn't have a game anymore. But, um... Yeah, Chain Roller probably makes Black White Vampires pretty miserable. Land. We're back in the game. Never didn't have it. Actually, because of that, because it does warp the metagame in such a way, I can see Chain Roller actually being banned. Um, not because... I don't think it's power level. The card itself isn't too strong, right? Uh, it's too strong with all the things you can do with it. Does that make sense? Like, it warps the metagame around it. It makes it so cards like Linsleaf Siphoner don't get played. It makes it so cards like, um... Don't have a counter spell. They always have a counter spell. Dude, 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 dude. They didn't have a counter spell. Glint Sleeve is not my favorite to begin with either, but it's a card that does skew the metagame and it makes people build their decks differently. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? This is my 7-7. Seven, seven. There are many like it, but this one is mine. I'm not actually going to attack with the Voltaic Servant anymore because they can go block and uh, like Shiv and fire it and that's just bad. I've got my spider. What are you doing with my spider? Wife is home from shopping. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Lama Goyf, have a good afternoon, buddy. Good night, whatever it is. Whatever, uh, whatever, wherever you at. Wherever you be at. This guy is not going to do it against my, my Traxy boy. Where is Mike B? I have no idea. You guys can get a hold of him and ask him if you'd like. Did you catch the fact that the spiders only infest houses with Karns in them? I have to be an expert. I do have Karns in my house. Uh, just not digital Karns. So, I guess that's good. Now we're just going to alpha because if you block here, you're dead. You're dead. Okay, I guess they're dead either way. Traxos is a hell of a dude. That's a real card, guys. That's a real card. Unwind is pretty good, too, but we saw one thing. And it wasn't... We saw two cards, right? We saw the uh, Howling Golem and the with the 2-1. Will you give Nick and Taylor a shout-out, please? They're working on a... Sh <laughs> Nick and Taylor, put your shit cube away and get your heads together in the game. Get them together in the game, okay? You know what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, not what I'm doing. Nailed it. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. Just because Lanowar Elf, the, the pull of Lanowar Elf is very strong. That's not as strong. Island one time. Yo, I can get an island one time? No? Alright. It's real mature. I understand, but I don't appreciate it. You get your mythics finally? No. No, I did not. Hey, that's pretty good. Huh. I'm confused about... We can deep freeze this guy, which is probably good. It's going to be like a 4-4. Four, four. They weren't paying attention to what I put on the TV and freaked out when you said that. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's the best. That's the best. God, I want to just deep freeze, but I also like keeping up Cinco Pate. How are we splashing our Jai's Emulating Inferno in this blue-green deck? It's not easy, but we have Double Skittering Surveyor to do it, so... Everybody wins, right? Yeah, this is probably one of the better threats we're going to face. That's fine. 
I bet we could have gotten in there for a point if we kept our mana untapped, but maybe not because Gift of Growth doesn't work, so. I think if anything is a five or greater turn clock, it should probably just be knocked out. Oh. All right. Mm, now we got combos on combos. Sure. That's worse than a raff, just to be clear. Land. Oh, boy. We're doing it, boys. Living that 1-1 one, one dream. Two lands away from Onslaught. One land away from Candle and Activation. This is the stuff of dreams. Oh, boy. Huh? Everybody wins, especially the Court of Memes, a secretive group of Lord of Lord from ancient bloodlines who Lords from ancient bloodlines who ensure the success and longevity of memes. Wow. I never knew where they came from, but it all makes so much more sense now. This guy. Are we just at a point where like Wild Onslaught for two is good enough? For, for not kicked for unkickability oh that's rude dang alright I'll add a green go to the next one dang it do we just unkick it one two three four five six I think we do that seems fine I mean, we have to have two more lands, and that's a lot. Should have attacked with this guy. Oh, he just came down. He just came down. I never understand how people say things like this is going to wreck us. We aren't playing. For <laughs> well, it's us because you're like you're playing for you're playing with them, right? Like it's a group activity. Like I say us, I say that's not good for us. You know, stuff like that. It's like it's just it's a part of like it's it's like it's like a team feeling, you know? Like, hey, that's us. We did good. We won. Hey, we won that game. It seems pretty obvious, right? I don't actually want to attack anybody into this guy. I mean, people do do that though. Like we're not involved. You don't get watch soccer. We we did we did good scoring two goals. Yeah, we yeah, people do that all the time actually. People are always like, "Yeah, we just scored." People do that all the time. That's super common. Because you feel like you're part of that team, you know? Like that's a super common feeling. I feel like this these this is not the board for this guy. We could just kill this guy though. I'll do it. They have two cards. I'm game. Um six. Throw them all out. You block here, you take five. Seems good. Untap you. Alright. Burden Force. Universe is not a simulation, guys. I don't know what you were thinking. Wild Onslaught confirmed a good card. So they're at Virtual 2 if this Arcane Flight sticks. Which is pretty good. Nothing. Intriguing. Alright. Block here. 
You gotta kill two dudes? What is this? Oh, it's a tap. It's all. It's an old tap eight. Concede the game. That's a classic. Magic by proxy is fun. I wonder how many times I yell at YouTube until Frank and Giraffe Blue didn't help. Yeah, no, that's that's totally true as well. I agree with you. It's not going to help no matter how many times you want me to build Giraffe Blue. But um, alternatively, um, people do. They also yell at like football games when they're watching them. You know. I can't believe we just fumbled. Unbelievable. You know, like, they get super... It's personal, because it's personal. Like, you be able to connection with your team, and you feel like you're a part of that team. And if you guys say we, I'm I'm on board, because that's a cool... That's a cool feeling. You guys are awesome. Top three strategy board games? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know if I have a top three. I like deck building games. <laughs> oh, we don't say we anymore now. Oh, that's sad. Well, this hand is not keepable. This hand is also not keepable, but... Oh, that makes it more keepable. That's a better... That's a spicy boy. You punched a hole in the wall over settlers? Good lord, I can't care that much about settlers. Get your life together, Matthew. Or I did see Sean Starb Spell Slingers four. Uh, it's really hard to get on the guest list for Spell Slingers. Uh, Sean has actually nothing to do with the guest list. I've actually talked to him about it, and he was like, "Yeah, I don't do any of that stuff. They just make it's a Wizards thing." Um, I don't think I don't think Ooze is the play here. That's counterable to me. It's not super impressive, but they might need a fourth land. And also, I don't want to sit here and do nothing for the rest of my life. <laughs> uh, play Servi. I love Sean. Sean's great. Uh, I would love to be on Spell Slingers. But I'm not like, so the thing is, I'm not like a gaming personality in general. I'm just a magic player, you know? So it's weird for me to be like on the show. All right. Well, oh, that's unfortunate. I guess ooze. And we'll flight this, bro. So we can be real susceptible to any form of rule whatsoever. Jared Phillips, let's see this hot mess that you got at your trophy with. Oh, the double on Sarah's wings, Siege Gang Commander. I this this deck seems fine. Triumph of Gerard. Well then. Alright, we're getting there. Where? I don't know. Somewhere, I guess. <sighs> I don't think that's good. I think it's just better to keep Animus up. Yeah, what? here, untap your guy. I don't care. I missed some bits. Hey, sorry. Thanks so much. Go team. Freaking happy Chicken Sunday. You guys think Chicken Sunday is only on Sunday? It's every day, guys. I don't know how to break it to you. Chicken Sunday is every day. I'm real tempted to just three for one and kill this guy. Four four is actually hard for us to deal with. But I don't know, man. Hey, that's pretty good. Wow, you're gonna dub this dude? Thank you. I dub you this. Get out of here. My dog's name Pig. Welcome back. Thanks so much for six months in a row. A preach.
That's true. I, yeah, that's true. Uh, Acer didn't say the other days weren't Chicken Sunday. I think it just felt implied because uh, a lot of times... Um, well, none of our hand is very good, and we're not drawing lands here. I think we're dead. Uh, a lot of times people say Happy Chicken Sunday on Sunday only. And it's very strange because they, they... I don't know. Maybe they just don't realize that every day is Chicken Sunday. Every day is Chicken Sunday. I think Ooze is good in this format because there are a lot of uh, equipments that are... That are good boys. Well, this four four is really doing us a doing us a frustration here. All right. Well, we're getting somewhere. Not quickly by any means, but you know, somewhere. I mean, I feel like we're in chump block city. Like we can actually chump block make a guy. I would sooner chump block with this guy though keep this guy maybe we gain some life i don't know every guy is two guys though that's pretty good we also want to hold this guy back because then uh you know this guy's a threat so are they gonna make two one ones oh my god they're so good at this game i think the curse has been lifted actually we've been actually progressively going up there was a huge period about a, about a month um where there were so many twitch prime subs that just came in and so many like gifted subs that I just kept losing them each week. So it's nice to to finally catch up. We're gonna block here. It's huge. Every guy is two guys. I never thought this guy would be giving me so much trouble. But here we are. Okay, okay. This guy comes down next turn if we hit a land. So we got two blockers. We can go block here and block here. Twitch user account. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Uh, block here, block here. We take one, two, three, four, five. I don't think we have such luxuries. I'll play you. All right. I don't like it, but here we are. I can deal with this. I'll go to three. If we hit a land, we get four guys next turn. We have to hit a land, I guess. All right. I would say I real Crows and Crick gets kicked regularly. I regularly kick Crows and Druids in this format. One, two, three, four. If they don't have anything, we're in good shape. We go to one if they alpha here, and they don't and they don't have anything. If they do have something, it's it's not great. Well, this is gonna be something good. Well, that'll do, pig. Yeah. Okay. Unwind it is. And do a thing. If Thorny Locks can you deal comment damage, yes you can. That is the whole point. Yeah, Thorny, Thorny Elemental, you uh, you attack for seven, they block with like a 5-5, five, five, and then you can just get to choose to deal damage to them. Remember when you get another land to call for a second Cross Android for simulation. That's a solid point, sir. Solid point. Not relevant at the moment, but... Oh, uh, this hand looks pretty good. One land begets two land. And we can put this guy on this guy? Yes. That's centaur violence. Who do I contact about that? Animal control or humane society? Aren't those the same thing? Isn't humane society animal control? It's not the human society. This guy. I also like this guy blocks super favorably with a 3-1. I'm down to clown here. What does that even mean?
Well, now it doesn't. Now it's worse. Oh, boy. This card's never good. Except when it is, which is for right now, I guess. Well, we're not going to block, so... It's whatever, I guess. Next time we got Voltaic Servant, and that's a good blocker. What's a good blocker? Traxos. Traxos is a good blocker. I think Mind's Eye is a pretty good card to put in any EDH deck, right? I don't even play that much EDH, but that seems like a reasonable choice. We had that dude in. Uh, we had that dude in our sealed pool today. That was pretty good. Um, so we can go Arcane Flight. Attack for a million. Actually, I think it's just Servant, and it might just be Migration, because none of these guys have Trample. So, we'll play this guy, and tap this guy. If it was a two-turn clock, I could see, but this is just eight and eight, which is not two turns yet. I don't foresee us kicking this Sapling Migration this game. I think we just want to survive. Is it safe to assume Karn or Tefri has ever pulled? There will be a big party banner for 24 hours plus. Yeah, probably. I will probably actually... Uh, I will announce it somehow. I think it's going to be... Um, a big deal, right? Because I think we're going on like draft number 55 or something ridiculous. Oh, they get flying from Gerard. Yeah, that's pretty good. God, maybe we should have done the thing. I also don't trust that card to... Uh, to not just kill Traxxas, I guess. What is this? Oh, a Zaheed. I see. Well, I guess we'll take five. Bingo, bango, bongo, I don't want to leave the Congo. No, 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 no. So if they block here... Take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If they don't block here, let's say they block here. Uh, they take 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Not quite, not quite there yet. Next turn, I think we got the game, though. Oh, no blocks. I'll stay right here. I think we're dead. I don't feel good about this turn right here. I think they're going to do some shenanigans and kill us. Actually, this guy's only 5-6. So even if they have a way to bounce this guy, it's... I feel like we're dead. They have four cards. Oh, my God. How are we dead to Zaheed? Zaheed's a 5-6 for one thing. We're at 6. So we're not dead from his natural state. And we have a 7 and 8 8 flyer, so. And even if we didn't untap this, it's still not lethal, so. Oh, that is not going to do it. If that's what you're playing, I feel like, I'm, okay, we're doing, we're doing just fine. Oh, and we get to eat this juggernaut. That's pretty cool. You're delicious. A tasty treat. Okay, so... They block here with the biggest guy, right? And then they can block all the small things pretty favorably. So they got four guys. One, two, three, four. Actually, they take four. And they block here, which is nine. So they take three. But this guy would die. This guy would live, presumably. Yeah, they literally... If they don't block Traxos, they're dead, so... Actually, is that true? They block here. They block here. And they block here. Five, six, seven. We would die. Oh, we get to untap a dude. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> Actually, maybe it's not because this guy doesn't. 
I don't know if this is correct or not. I didn't feel like doing the math. We have Onslaught, but, like, it doesn't kill them if they block correctly, so. Okay, well. Okay, they blocked not correctly. No, 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 no. Bingo, bango, bongo. I don't want to leave the Congo. I refuse to go. And we do this onslaught. We play this. Pump up our things. But no matter what they do, this should kill their face. Oh, bingo, bango, bongo. I don't want to leave the Congo. No, 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 no. So this guy lives, this guy dies, this guy dies, this guy dies, and we get to untap Traxos. If they have charge, it's a little scary, but I... Crying out loud. One, two, three, four. I think we just lost. That's amazing to me. Well, that's cool. I <laughs> guess we earned it. All right, well, that's it. Ah, oh, untapping Traxos with Candle would have done it. My god. We just threw it away. We got so tilted that we threw it away. Oh, that would have killed us anyway. I feel better now. Because we would have blocked here, and then they still would have had six. So, alright. Yeah, Candle would have untapped. I just totally forgot about it. It does. It's fine. Still didn't have... Maybe we should have just attacked with Traxos. I think we actually... Probably should have just attacked the Traxos. But turns out they had dub anyway, so it doesn't really finish the job for us. Either way, incorrect. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.